Hey there folks, this is Tornado Twins with UnityPrefabs.com and here is how to add an inventory to your Unity 3D game. Now, I have uh, a scene open in my uh, Unity uh, 3D application here at the moment and this scene is basically a modified camera kit from UnityPrefab.com and this scene uh, is added to the prefab for free uh, so that you can see a camera implementation of the inventory. Now there's two versions uh, that come in the same package. One of them is without the camera and without any extras so that you can easily integrate it in your game and the other one is uh, uh, this one. So let's run it real quick and see what happens. Uh, as you can see there's a couple of items that are laying around here and these are just static items. You could add a rigid body so that they fall to the floor and they have physics. And when I get close to them it says press E to pick up either the yellow potion or the axe or the blue potion and that sort of thing. Now let's uh, try up and pick up this uh, potion here by hitting E and as you can see the letters disappear. Now you might be wondering where did that item go? Now it went to our inventory. Now I can toggle our inventory by clicking on the little button right here uh, which of course rotates my camera a little bit so uh, depending on your uh, settings you can also use the I key so that you can show the inventory. Now as you can see inventory looks a little funky but uh, let me explain what it is. Down here we have a grid and you can grab items and you can move them around. You can tweak the grid to your liking so you can make them square, you can make them rectangular, you can have certain items that span multiple grid uh, squares instead of only one. Uh, and you can also drag these items to equip them in your character. Now up here you see a little bit of a stick figure uh, of your character which is of course probably not what your uh, character will look like in your game so you can replace this with a texture of uh, a render of your 3D character. And then you can pick up items and equip them on your character which is all uh, configurable in the uh, inventory prefab. Another thing that's added to this one, you can turn this on and off also, is the ability to drag the inventory left and right. Now it's a good idea in uh, your game that as soon as your inventory is on or live or displaying that you turn the camera off because otherwise you see this rotate a lot. But um, as you can see it is draggable. Now all the windows you see in the inventory, the character window, the drag handle and the grid are modifiable. You can turn them off, you can turn them on, you can make them bigger. Uh, smaller, the size you want, you can stack them differently, it's all up to you. Alright, now let's uh, drag the um, inventory off to the side here a little bit and let me grab for example the axe here also and as you can see as soon as I hit E to pick it up the axe is now added to the grid. As soon as I grab the axe and drop, drag it to my character and drop it, it is now equipped to my character. Now in this case uh, you don't really see the character because it's still a cylinder of the camera kit but you can replace it real easily and it will also work with our character kits that are coming pre out soon and unityprefabs.com. I can also drag it back. Another thing what I want to do um, if I'm in the game, if I've collected too many items or if I've collected items that weigh too much, that more than my character can uh, carry, I can drop the item outside of the inventory and it will ask you, are you sure you want to drop this, yes or no? As soon as I click yes, it will be added to the 3D scene again. So as you can see, when I walk away, it has been added uh, close to the player's position. Now let me uh, show you a couple more things. As you can see in the, this potion here, there's a 1, which means the potion is stackable. You can uh, uh, acquire multiples and then stack them up. So let me uh, grab a couple of other items here. A sword and another red potion. Alright, now the cool thing is you can add as many items as you want and it's not depending on your inventory. You can add as many items uh, as you please and these items can correspond with what you can equip with your character. It's very cool, very flexible and a very professional uh, prefab uh, that I'm very proud of. Our coders did a, a good job on this one. Alright, now let me pause the game and let's take a look at the different variables that are out here. Uh, we have our inventory, in this case, attached to the player. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of variables, which I won't explain right now because there is a documentation that comes with this prefab that explains you exactly what you can do. Now, uh, what these variables do is uh, specify if you can drop 
items outside of your inventory or not, if you uh, can destroy items when you drop them outside of your inventory, um, if you want um, draggable fields, that sort of thing, uh, if you want a character window, yes or no, uh, with the sizing of the grid, uh, the spacing, that sort of thing, it's all configurable inside of the inventory. But there's more, let's take a look at one of the uh, items here, let me focus on it. And as you can see, we have a, a little bit of a sword here. And the sword has a couple of uh, variables. As you can see, we can either uh, check or uncheck the fact that it's stackable in the inventory. So if we do check it, then you can uh, have like the potions, multiple ones. You can set the maximum amount of items you can stack uh, to 99 and how much position they take in the stack size. You can also set the weight for uh, this item so that if you want your character to be able to uh, carry around a certain maximum weight, then you can add the weight as well. Then also what's nice is that the icon is defined in the item, not in the inventory. So this way you can add as many items as you want. You can even update your game later and the inventory doesn't need to know which items that are there. All the information is stored inside of the item. Then the last checks box here is can we uh, pick this item up, yes or no, and you can check or uncheck that. All right, so these are only a couple of the amazing features in this inventory prefab. It really takes only a couple seconds to implement it in your game. There's a very rich documentation that comes with it, and it comes with this example scene, as well as an empty scene to integrate uh, in your game, as well as a package. So uh, uh, one of the prefabs that I'm really proud of and what I like about it is that it integrates with the other prefabs on unityprefabs.com, but it doesn't specifically have to integrate. Uh, it is built so object-oriented that it integrates with your game very easily. All right, so uh, I suggest uh, check it out and um, uh, purchase the pack on unityprefabs.com and also take a look at the inventory of all the other things you can do with it at runtime, on the fly, and with code. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.